in the third green. Contact, up the middle, council, diving, grabbing, hopping, throwing out green, green 0 for 4. Sitting 281, council will do more later. Top four, still 2-0, Dave DeLucci up, 2 on DeLucci. Tom Goodwin coming in, and there goes the ball right under the glove. Luis Gonzalez, Mark Grace would score. We're tied at 2, DeLucci gets a triple out of that. Two batters later, it's Chad Moeller. Moeller, it's a perfect suicide squeeze. DeLucci comes in to score. We're tied. Take another look at the replay. Herder giving DeLucci a little, little hip check at the plate. Hey, whatever works, it's baseball. Dug out of the D-backs, thrilled with the results, obviously. 3-2 Arizona in the sixth. Watch Craig Council. Off the Adrian Belt trade, the robbery, the dive, the flip. That's a double play. Council, good. Bottom seven, still 3-2 Arizona. Your pinch hitter, that man, Marquise Grissom. Off of Mike Moeller to tie the game. Grissom's 14. Still tied, bottom nine. Hiram Boca Chica, our first, one out. Rookie Eric Sable, the wild pitch. Damian Miller still looking for it. Boca Chica goes all the way to third base. This would be a key play. The D-backs intentionally walk Sean Green and Gary Sheffield to get to Eric Carroll's with the bases loaded, and what happens? That wasn't the plan. Sable wasn't supposed to hit Carroll's in the elbow. Boca Chica wasn't gonna come in to score, but he did. And the Dodgers win. Four to three. Chan Ho Park goes seven, allowing three earned runs. He got the no decision. Park has gone 12 straight starts, allowing three earned runs or less. That is the longest active streak in baseball. The Dodgers snap a three-game losing streak. Gonzalez was 0 for 1 in this game with two walks. Mark Gray's 3 for 3, his fourth three-hit game this year. As they take on the pods. Now the pods throw a little softball shift on, and it works out perfectly in the first. Kevin Jarvis gets him to ground a second. Guys playing the outfield. Nice job. But Calvin Murray scores. RBI number 66 for Bonds. Top third, one zip Giants. One on. Murray again. He tripled the first time to get to third. And this time he gets to trot home. His third home run of the season. He was four for five. Scored three times. Earned his paycheck. Two batters later. Jarvis facing Bonds. He hits one deep to left. But Ricky Henderson. Old legs, but he knows the way. He gets the bonds 0 for 2 at that point, but did have the RBI. Top six, two on, no out. First base is open. Jarvis, free pass for Bonds. 16th intentional walk of the season. That's solid baseball there. Next batter, Jeff Kent. Deep fly ball. Marcotze is out there. Look out for the bikes. Oh, makes the catch. Kisses the wall. Murray scores again. Giants up four zip. Bottom sixth inning. Domestic unrest in the dugout. Armando Rios, Rich Aurelia barking at each other. Barry Bonds, peacemaker here. Dusty Baker also with some words for Rios. Really said something that happens on every team. Should stay in the dugout. Still some chili running hot there, really, with Calvin Murray. They finally straightened it out. And what salves all wounds? Home runs. Barry Bonds get out number 38. First player to 38 before the All-Star break his 10th of June. Poor Rodney Myers giving it up. Later in the inning, two on for Pedro Feliz against Myers. Myers keeping it in the ballpark, but he's gonna need some help. Mike Dar is out there and he gets it. Grass stains those pants. And I suppose you laundry fairies, you show up, clean those, and they end up back in your drawer, huh? Top nine, two on Bonds. Well, that'd be a home run if they were playing in a silo. They were not there with the cue. Ricky Henderson grabs it, Bonds. Fails to homer in every at bat, but he was one for four with three RBIs. And the Giants, despite giving up three in the ninth again, win it by a count of eight to six. Bonds, 59 career homers versus the Pods. That's the most of any club, and he has seven against them in 10 games this year. San Francisco improves to 18 and 15 when Bonds homers. They have won seven of eight overall, and Kevin Jarvis, bummer for him, 0 for five lifetime against the Giants. Chasing history. Barry Bonds remains well ahead of Mark McGuire's pace from his. There is Sammy hitting about 200 in his life at Bush Stadium. Cubs down one zip with two on. Mike Matthews, your pitcher. Gary Matthews Jr., your home run. Jim Edmonds will try, but he can't come up with this thing. Gary Matthews Jr., two for four. He's hitting 227. That's his sixth home run of the year. Take another look. Edmonds going up for the ball, actually tweaking his right shoulder. After the inning, Edmonds would try stretching it out in the dugout. He would stay in the game where he was two for four in this game, hitting 290, by the way. Bottom of the sixth, two out. Runner on third for the Cardinals, who are down 3-2. Stubby clap. Sammy Sosa. Did I tell you that's the best catch he's ever made in his life? Take another look, because it's worth at least 20. And perhaps you'll see all 20 in this program. Great jump, great play. Give him a hand. 
Great glove for Sammy Sosa. Top seven with the Cubs up 3-2. Bags full. One out. Jason Christensen on the hill. Sammy Sosa in the batter's box. Sweet. Grand slam home run. His 22nd home run of the year. Cubs up big. 7-2. Bottom of seven, same score, one on two out. Here's the man, Big Red, Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Going left, Todd Dunwoody, diving play of his own. Top nine, one on, nobody out, comes up by five, Sosa. His 47th career multi-home run game. He's got 409 home runs in his career, passing Duke Snyder for 32nd on the all-time list. 9-4 the final, Sammy Sosa helping snap the Cubs' 13-game losing streak at Bush. Surprisingly, of their 53 wins this season, that was the M's first when trailing after eight innings. Seattle's 19 and a half game lead in the AL West has become so boring, the local paper now publishes historical standings. 2001 M's, three back of the 1912 Giants after 69 games. M's and A's play away. That'll be Jason Giambi against Freddy Garcia. Garcia undefeated on the road this season, but this could put a dent in that. Giambi, two run shot, is 18th of the season. He's two for three. Top five, still two zip. Brett Boone off Mark Mulder, and Boone's just nuts. 17th of the season, the lead's cut to 2-1. More Mariners muscle, Edgar Martinez. How about him homering for the second straight night? A two-run shot is 12th of the season, and the ends have come back to take the lead in six, 3-2. But bottom six, Johnny Damon laying down the bunt. David Bell fields it to throw wild. Jeremy Jambi. Brown in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. Each hero, two hits, but his throw not in time. Game side at three. Top eight, three, three. Brett Boone off Jim Mas <laughs> Go. Boone's 18th of the season, 15th multi-homer game of his career, fourth of the year, and just like that, it's 4-3. But in the bottom of the ninth, here comes the comeback by the A's with two on. Eric Chavez off of Kazahiro Suzaki the other way. The buffet line is now open. Let's see. Game-winning homer for Chavez. Ninth of the season. A's win at 6-4. Suzaki blows just his fourth save and 30 chances. The M's have now lost three of four. Still, though, 19-6 against the AL West this season. They were 19-19 last season. Red Sox 7-0 against the Devil Rays. Jason Tyner on first. Randy Wynn up. Tyner attempting to steal. Doug Mirabelli nailing him at second. 14 of 26 runners thrown out this year by Mirabelli. Roop getting Carl Everett with a heat. 8 Ks matching his career high. Roop getting Manny. Roop striking out Everett and Ramirez in each of their first three at bats. Next batter though, Dante Bichette. Bichette was off the hook. Three for four. He's hitting 346. Good placement there. Trot Nixon would score and Boston would be up 1-0. Same score, two outs, bases, Juice David Cohn getting Mike DeFelice to pop up to Brian Daubach. Cohn allowed six hits and five and a third getting out of the jam there. But Boston was up 2-0 in the bottom of the six and Cohn can't hold the lead against Fred McGriff. Flexing for the fences. This shot ties the game at two. McGriff's 14th home run of the year. Boston was up 4-2 in the eighth. One out, runners on first and second, Dante Bichette. Oh, it's good as those queso chips at the ESPN zone. Off of Travis Phelps, his fifth of the year. A six-run eighth for Boston. The Red Sox now 8-0 against Tampa this season. Remarkably, Boston is 4-1 on its road trip, despite Manny Ramirez and Carl Everett combining for just five hits and four RBIs during that span. The Devil Rays have lost five in a row overall. Now, about Dante Bichette. He ups his season average to that 346 mark with his 3 for 4 night. His 4 RBI gives him 22 on the year. How potent has the Red Sox offense been against the D-Rays this year? Well, they've outscored Tampa Bay 60 to 16 in their eight wins. Yikes. Yankees and Tigers, Adrian Hernandez makes his first major league start. With New York, Damon Easley grounds into the hole. Derek Jeter, not just a shortstop, he's an all-star shortstop. He's out. Bottom of the fifth, though, the defense gets a little loose. Shane Halter facing Hernandez, and that's a double play ball that Alfonso Soriano boots, and Jeter can't help him out on. Air on Soriano. Next batter, Jared Patterson. Tino Martinez has just made his first air in 78 games. 49 airs on the year now for the Yankees. Next batter, Roger Cedeno and Jorge Posada. Can't hang on to that one. They rule out a pass ball. Juan Encarnacion scores. It's 2 1 Tigers. Bottom six. Romero Mendoza in, 
Encarnacion again, rips it, and that's going to get down long enough for Rob Fick to score, Dean Palmer to score. Encarnacion's RBI is 35 and 36. It's the Tigers win a by count of 5 to 2. Chris Holt, just his second home win, 4 and 0 on the road, 70 mounds that away. Top two twins of two men on Tom Print. Marty Cordova tracks it down. He gets there, but he can't grab it. They scored a double for Prince. Doug Kavich, Torrey Hunter scored two zip twins. Top four, Corey Koski up. Bases are empty. Fly ball. Cordova going to get another chance, and this time he makes good on it. Oh, look at him getting off his feet. He could have jumped over the entire phone book there. Top five, Chuck Finley out of the game. Four and two-thirds inning pitch. Four hits, two runs, three walks. Four Ks. Jake Westbrook in, trying to help Finley out. Bases loaded. Brian Buchanan is after a pitch in the dirt. Strike three. You're done. Bottom five, 2-1 now, man on for one. Gonzalez, two out knocks are the key to luck. Kenny Lofton will score 58 ribs for Gonzalez. We're tied at two. The next batter, Ellis Burks, three homers Tuesday. You know, just being a former teammate of Barry Bonds gives you power. His 18th homer, a two-run shot. Indians up by a count of 4-2. And with the Twins, bases Chuck, two outs. Ricardo Rincon gets Denny Hawking. It's in the sixth. Get out of a jam there. Indians win it by kind of 4-2. Burks, one homer, better. Omar Dahl, the pitcher. Jason Kendall, the catcher. He's in left. That's an error. His second of the inning. Johnny Estrada would score. Dahl, two for three. One run scored. He's hitting 333. Pat Burl. Derek rings our bell with this catch. Pat Mears is taken out. Not sure if he's a disco fan. Meanwhile, Travis Lee at the plate. Driving it. Kendall. You know, some teams rest their catchers. Others put them in the outfield. Jimmy Rollins and Bobby Abreu score. 6 nothing. fills. Kendall moved to right in the seventh. Nothing hits him. And back behind the plate, he went in the eighth. Doug Lanville, the chopper. Aramis Ramirez, the flip to Kendall to get Marlon Anderson out at home. Lanville 0 for 4 in this game. Bottom eight, Kevin Young facing Jose Santiago with the Phillies up by three. Young, the grounder. Scott Rowland, great stop. And then the finish from his knees. Roland also is two for four. He's hitting 263, and the Phillies beat the Pirates nine to five. Omar Dahl, despite his two hits, improves to eight and one with a victory after being staked to a seven-run lead. He's now six and zero in night games. This is all coming from a guy who lost 19 games a year ago. Jimmy Rollins continuing his push for NL Rookie of the Year honors. He finishes three for five with a run scored and a pair of RBI. Marlins Braves, two teams tied for second in the NL East. Top of the first, John Mabry. Right to Mark DeRosa, subbing for Rafael for call, and that's well done. Strong throw from his knees. Mabry out of first. Top third, Greg Maddox pitching well. Luis Castillo. Strike three! Struck out four times in the night. Top four scoreless game. Cliff Floyd. That is not a grand slam home run. Seven pitch inning for Maddox in the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, A.J. Burnett pitching. B.J. Serhoff. Ripping a shot off Alex Gonzalez's leg, which is not how you're supposed to do it. E6. Uh, on your shortstop, two batters later, runners on first and second. Cheaper Jones up the middle. Sirhoff going to score the relay throw. There's Gonzalez. E6, another one. Andrew Jones would score on that misplay. His 12th of the year, two zip Atlanta. Bottom five, runner at first. Paul Baco slips one out there to second. Luis Castillo mistimes the jump. No air, but also no out. DeRosa goes to third. Baco safe at first. Next batter, Greg Maddox laid it down on the safety squeeze. He can handle the bat. Safe at home, safe at first. 3-1 Atlanta, top seven. Maddox, it's Alex, tough night for Gonzalez. Six pitch inning, Maddox, seven innings pitch. Three hits, two runs, one walk as the Braves win 7-2. Just two earned runs in 20 frames against Florida this season. He's 12 and four with his, in his career against the Marlins. Maddox is well. Atlanta's three-game home losing streak ends. Florida's season best five-game winning streak. Well, that's also over. Without the resting Mike Piazza, the Mets trying to win four in a row for the first time this year, hosting Montreal. Timo Perez leading off. Does something he's never done before. His first career leadoff homer. The last Met leadoff homer by Benny Agbayani last July 30th. Perez's second homer of the year. Mets were up 3-0 in the fourth. Vlad Guerrero. 0 for 22 lifetime against Al Leiter. That was Ray Odonius's ninth error of the year. Bases loaded two out. Ryan Miner against Leiter. Miner deep. Benny 
goes for it, misses it badly. Three runs would score, a bases clearing double for Miner. We are tied at three, all three runs unearned. Bottom four, still tied, nobody out. Daryl Hamilton on first, Todd Pratt at the plate. Hamilton takes off, the throw is perfect, but Jose Vitro missed the tag somehow. Can we see this again? I mean, it was a perfect throw, it was a strike. Vidro completely misses it. Hamilton, nice slide, got his foot in there. Pratt with Siegel moving Hamilton to third runners on the corners when Adonis does that. It's a 6-3 double play, but Hamilton would score on it. Mets up by 1-4-3. Top nine, same score, two out with Rob Ducey on third. Mike Mordecai, Armando Benitez. Benitez, high heat. Mets hang on. Benitez is 13th save. Lida goes seven, didn't allow an earned run. He also broke his 0 for 44. Greg Norton does this off of Wade Miller. Norton's fifth home run of the year. Year. His only hit of the game, he's hitting 239, one nothing Colorado. Same score in the bottom of the second, two men on for Tony Eusebio against Ron Vallone, who wants a do-over. Eusebio, one for three, he's hitting 288. Alou, Richard Hildago would score as well on the double by Eusebio. Bottom six, three, two Astros, base is full for Vinny Castilla. Feeling grand, but is it long enough? Goes off the wall, Lance Berkman and Moises Alou would score. That was uh, Vinny's only hit of the game. He has 15 RBIs this year. He's hitting 246. It's 5-2 Astros. Same score in the eighth. Moises Alou, he's been lifting off of Craig Dingman. 13th home run of the year. Alou, 4-4 four for four on this night. He's hitting 363. And the Astros crush the Rockies 7-2. Alou now batting 321 all-time against Colorado with 14 homers. For the first time in franchise history, the Astros sweep the Rockies at home. Wade Miller allowed just four hits in seven innings and won his eighth. The Astros improved to 7-5 and five on Wednesdays. There's Carlos Lee on second base. Megler Ordonez, little blooper off Chris Wilson. Carlos Beltran got it, didn't get it, second error of the season. Lee scores, Sox up 1-0. Still 1-1, Sox fans, they would like a homer, they would like it from Carlos Lee because it is his 25th birthday after all, and he delivers off Jason Grimsley, his 11th of the year. Cake and presents for you, Sox win 2-1, their seventh in a row. Jays in Baltimore, bottom five. Would you believe Jay Gibbons here is actually gonna be aiming for the foul pole and left? Mm-hmm, off of Kelvin Escobar. Bullseye, home run, fourth straight game with a homer for Gibbons. Bottom seven, two out, we're tied at five, Cal's up with the bag's full. Pops softly out to Carlos Delgado, rip one for five and a run score. We're still tied, bottom eight, two on for Brian Simmons against Mike Trombley. Simmons flying out to Mike Kincaid. Alex Gonzalez would score on the sack fly. Alex was two for four and the Jays win, stopping a four game losing streak. Angels, Rangers, drama, 4-2 Anaheim, bottom nine, Troy Percival on to close it out. Alex Rodriguez extending the inning because Benji Gill gets it, but the former driller can't make the play, although he did have three hits. Not good enough there. Rangers down one run, 4-3 after a walk. Rafael Palmero, Ruben Sierra lifts one, and that's it. No more drama. Angels win 4-3. Percival, 17th save. A night of